What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so... Yeah, I kind of went to, I kind of went off screen to train my Pokemon, capture a few other Pokemon that we needed to capture, you know, the things that I said I was going to do. Plus, I managed to swap some Pokemon into my Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, I guess you guys have already seen it right there on my, uh, on my YouTube that I brought back uh, a few of my teams from past generations and all that stuff and I will be showcasing them here into the game the other thing too is that uh, unbeknownst to me I was passed a uh, an eon ticket if you guys don't know what that is that gives you access to the far away southern island I believe so yeah all you gotta do is uh, let's see where is it there it is okay so there's the eon ticket the ticket required for sailing on a ferry to southern island does norman the pedalberg gym leader uh, know a secret well obviously he probably does so what's going on right here is this that uh while i was uh, doing the whole you know exploring the the uh the secret bases of everybody down below on the buzz nav you'll be able to actually find a uh, pass by new people every single day and sometimes you might get a mystery gift here and there, that kind of stuff. And one day I got a mystery gift. Didn't really read it, but when I went into a Pokemon Center, I think it was this one right here. Yeah, I kind of found a person and they gave me a Neon ticket. So that right there will be useful once we, I don't know, like once we once we complete the initial stuff like you know the latios latios event and all that stuff as of right now we won't be doing anything of that what we're going to do right here in this episode is we're going to actually take a small uh, a small uh, side quest not small but we're going to be taking a side quest now because we can actually surf and well the first place on my list is going to be north of Rustboro city it happens to be a secret location where you can find some pretty cool Pokemon, some good trainers and all that crud, and uh, what else? What else can you find? Eh, just a bunch of other stuff right here. And like I said, off screen I was training all my Pokemon, making sure that they were the best they can be and all that crud. And uh, let's see. I, yeah, I did train up my old Pokemon Emerald team. Uh, I did evolve my, my newest starter, or my starter uh, Swamp Lord. So... Eh, we're gonna be seeing Pokemon here and there. Like I said, guys, in Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, I don't, I don't necessarily have a set team, per se. You know that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be using different kinds of Pokemon because in this walkthrough or in this generation right here, you can just, you, you can just use any Pokemon and make them look like a goddamn superstar. So what we're going to do right here is we're gonna be going up to Rustboro City right here, and as you can see, look at that back. To Rustboro, we haven't been here in quite some time, and we're gonna be going to Route 115. And no, I do not need a repel from right now. Now there's this area right here where you can actually get out of the Granite Cave. No, not the Granite Cave. Uh, can't remember what it was called, but if you go right here, you were we were there one once before when we took on Team Magma and all that crud. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be surfing and battling people. Also, now that you now that you can surf, you're going to be seeing some Pokemon try to get your attention and all that crud, uh, flapping their wings or splashing on the water and all that stuff. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to actually heal up, or we're going to use another repel right here, and we're going to be running, uh, we're going to be going north right here. As you can see, there's somebody waiting for us, and what we're going to do now is, uh, let's see, actually I got the team ready. Uh, you guys may not be able to see it right here, but I do have three different Pokemon, or I have three uh, new Pokemon, and uh, Pokemon Egg, because I kind of want to hatch them. I got Fluff Blade, the Altaria that I actually evolved off screen. I have Desert Storm, if you guys don't remember, we caught him back in uh, the, uh, the Tanobi Desert, I think that's what it was called, and we still got Raiden. As you probably already know, the Pokemon Egg will be Wina, and then, uh, Let's see, we got Sage of the Halo and Hydra number two, both at level 40, so those are my backup right there. So let's get this going, let's battle some uh, battle girls right here. She's looking at us. This beach is my secret training spot, don't come butting in. Okay, alrighty. Girls get a little feisty, hell yes, and here she comes out with her Meditite. I think you can actually get a Meditite around here, and I do love the Twilight right here guys, look at that. Look at that, it just looks orangey and all that crud. Okay, so let's go ahead. Maximum effort, Aerial Ace. Fluff Blade right here. That's exactly what I call this Altaria, Fluff Blade, because look at that. Look at its wings. It's all fluffy and all that crud. 
And, uh, well, look at that. Look at that. And, well, Desert Storm grows to level 25. And there we go. She hasn't trained enough. That's one hit KO. Let's see. What else happened off screen? I was actually training my Pokemon. Uh, part of which I was actually going through the secret bases and battling some people. Now, I was trying to do this without the help of my two strongest Pokemon, Sage of the Halo and Hydra 2. Unfortunately, that was, a, that was a little harder than expected because some of these people who have secret bases have legendary Pokemon. And then some of these Pokemon too, or some of these trainers, know how to know how to use a mega evolution so that right there i kind of have a disadvantage i literally had to use my full team plus a bunch of uh repel or not repels but revives super potions and all that stuff to beat one pokemon one legendary pokemon yeah it was not fun guys it was not fun so what i did was i actually started battling people who were going to rematch me eventually and trust me, guys, you'll be able to rematch a lot of people uh, in the game every single time. It's not that hard. And, uh, well, here we have another trainer. He's looking at us. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. Hopefully you don't have any CTE right here. So here we go. And that'll be another battle. And we're taking on Nub. He is coming with his Machop. And I think I did evolve my Machop right here. Yeah, I did. I do have a Machop. I named it Hulk, I think, uh, Hulk Buster, yeah. Now, there are quite a few Pokemon that I actually caught, or that I actually traded for. Uh, I got, what was it, a Lunatone and Sol Solrock, I got both of them right here, you can only get one. Uh, some Pokemon that I actually that I actually need for from trades, like uh, Surviper, I think you can actually only get at trades right here. So that's one other Pokemon that we got, and then I replaced it quite a few. Kind of a few Pokemon that had some special uh, attacks. Like, I did switch out my Claymore. It actually has Dragon Rush, I believe, and uh, that is a very, very good addition to its a uh, to its uh, repertoire. Like I like to say right there. And well, we got a Pokemon wanting our attention right there, and it looks like that we haven't caught it. But we're not gonna be doing that right now. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use another repel or yeah another repel right here now again i'm gonna keep on saying this guys i didn't say in the last 10 episodes because it worked perfectly but do excuse the lagginess guys yeah the internet here has been all busted up and all that crud just because uh i don't know multiple people using the internet and stuff so let's go right ahead and see where we're at right here here we are in a new location that we haven't been to in quite some time or ever and uh, there is a there is a secret base right there. Somebody wants to trade me right now, which I'm not going to pay attention to. But as you can see, I can't move around here. What the hell? Somebody... Oh, what the hell? Somebody uh, laid a trap for, for me right here. There's uh, something hidden right around here. And we're going to go right here. As you guys probably already know, you can actually uh, hide traps right here. And you can actually battle quite a few people right here. As you probably already saw, I actually collected 29 uh, flags right here. You actually do level up every single time you collect flags. And uh, let's see. Okay, so there's a yeah, Kecleon doll. I probably should have clicked on that right there. And yeah, what a butthole. Okay, what a butthole for putting all these Kecleon dolls right here. Didn't even know I could do that, so let's move on right here. Didn't want to battle that person because what if that person had a legendary Pokemon? I would have been uh, I would have been screwed badly, royally screwed. And here we have another Karate guy right here. So let's go ahead and have him battle me. My Machop, demand a battle. Alrighty, straightforward, ready to battle. So here we go, Black Belt Kichi, Koichi or Kuchi or shoot, man, I don't even want to say inappropriate shit. <laughs> okay, so here we go, another uh, Machop ready to battle us, but Fluffblade has got this, and somebody is sending me birthday wishes. Huh? It's not even my birthday. It's probably the uh, yeah, it, you know what? It's probably the uh, the what you call the the 3DS that I have. I actually bought it off of somebody and. Uh, yeah, I think today is his birthday, his or her birthday or something, I don't even know, so. As I'm recording this, it's, what was it, April 28th? Yeah, April 28th, so happy birthday to whoever sold me this. And this goddamn Machap just survived, how in the hell did you do that? 
do not know. So let's go with its patented Dragon Breath right here. Look at that. Fluff Blade taking care of business. Look at that. Now, many of you guys are already thinking that, you know, Fluff Blade's going to be one of my Pokemon that I'll be using. Not really. I like using Altaria. It's not a bad Pokemon. It's just, you know, I kind of have plans for another one right here. Uh, Hoenn Team Part 2. And wh where are these trainers right here? Okay, so there is a secret base right there. And there are trainers right here. So let's go right ahead and take on a trainer here. Okay, so there it is. Homeboys, Heidi. Hmm, you seem rather capable. Let me keep you company. All right, bring it. So here we go. Dragon Ball Z expert Timothy would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Hariyama. Look at that. His own Yokozuna right here. So let's go with Fluff Blade. So I, I can see that there's a lot of uh, fighting type trainers right around here. So let's go. Aerial Ace. For the win. Not really, but this guy's uh, pretty big. So here comes that smelting salts. Oh, crud. Nearly takes all of our HP right there. So let's go right again. Let's get this aerial ace. And uh, that takes care of that. Big ol' Hariyama defeated. And more people, more experience, and that is cool right there. Now you guys will be seeing a few evolutions here and there. It's, it's, only, it's only appropriate. And uh, there is a Pokemon here wanting us to capture it. I have not seen it yet, so let's go right ahead and see what it is all about. It's a Jigglypuff, and I am not going to capture it because, yeah, no, not right now. Although I will capture it eventually, just to breed it and turn it into a Jigglypuff, because that's something that's something about me when it comes to these games right here, guys. I like to breed the Pokemon, and I actually like to uh, to actually get its uh, full evolution, just because I want to, like, you know. I want to complete the Pokédex, but sometimes you just can't do that. So comment down below if you actually did complete the Pokédex here in Pokémon Oras and in Pokémon uh, X and Y. Now, as I am speaking right here in episode 30... not 31, right? I think it's episode 31. I don't even know. Yeah, so as I'm speaking right now, I am actually doing the behind-the-scenes... Uh, low-key, or I'm actually low-key kind of uh, recording the, ep the first few episodes of Pokémon X... Mainly because, uh, well, I don't know how long this whole COVID-19 thing is gonna gonna last. So I I might as well get the whole walkthrough started, pick my own Pokemon and all that crud, and you know, see where it takes me. You guys will be surprised. I know that many of you guys want to get like want to choose my starter Pokemon, but I think this game I got it handled because I, I already have an idea of what I want to do for this game. And, you know, I hope you guys like the, the, the walkthrough as much as I enjoy playing it and all that crud. So, as you can see, we're taking on uh, Sandslash right here. And crud, I got no Pokemon. Or, I don't have the right Pokemon. So, I'm going to go with Hydra 2 right here. Alright, the Hydrogen Bomb Hydra 2. Now, <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. There are three separate teams that I have had a Hydra, I think. Or, I've, I've caught... Five Hydras, maybe. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Uh, I can tell you this right now in Pokemon Black. I won't be able. I won't be capturing a Hydra Five on that one because you're only uh, you're only down to Unova Pokemon right there. So two of the three Pokemon or two of the three teams that I have right there, I will be. Well, I, I will have. Uh, what was it? I will have Hydra, as you can see. Hydra Two here is from Johto, and I kind of wanted to use him for quite some time. For Generation 1, I did capture a separate Gyarados and evolved it, or Magikarp and evolved it, and then uh, for Generation 4, Hydra 4, captured another Magikarp and evolved it as well. So they all have separate movesets and all that crud. Yes, yes, I will eventually evolve, like I will give them the, the, the Mega or the Mega Stone for them. Now as you can see, Desert Storm is actually learning a new move, which is Earth Power, so let's go ahead and take away Sand Tomb, because I... Yeah, I don't I have no need for that boat, that move right there. So there we go. Earth Power has been taken away, and uh, Michael Hayes has been defeated. For those who don't know who Michael Hayes is, check out the WWE. Now let's go right here and uh, see if we got some more items to pick up right here. So there we go. We found ourselves the Pokemon Viagra, the PP up. Always useful for all your Pokemon's needs and. I think there is a... Okay, so I do have the bike for that, but I kind of want to take a look at this 
this area right here, the secret area. Ah, oh, crud. Team Fusion Space. Alright, so... Oh, crud. I... I hate these goddamn mats just because it like it dictates where you move, and sometimes these people don't want their ah oh, crud, yeah. Sometimes these people don't want their flags to be caught or gotten. They you know they just you know they they make it so hard for me. And look at that, we found ourselves another flag, which is thirty flags right there. Not going to battle anybody. And well, let us just move on. There is another secret base right there. And here we have Team Pokemasters. So, if you are watching, or if you're one of my fans, well, here's your base right here. And here we have another uh, flag right here. So, that's, that makes 31. Again, I will not battle any of these guys because, you know, who knows if they have legendary Pokemon. Don't want to battle that, even though I got my best Pokemon on me right now. Alright, so we have a heal powder right here. And let's go right ahead and use the bike. And move on ahead right here. Now, the lagginess, god dang it, come on. It's being laggy right now. Waiting on it. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Let's see. There is is there anything else right here that we need to get grab? No, not really. There we go. Okay, so that here we found ourselves in iron, which is always nice. And I could this no, that's not an item right there. So okay, so I think we've completed this whole area right here. We can actually go back to Lava Ridge if we wanted to. Not Lava Ridge. Maybe Fall Arbor Town. Yeah. We could go back back there if we wanted. So that's probably within the plans right there. So let me just get the heck out of here. God dang. Found another zone where I can actually capture some Pokemon right here. And well, let's go ahead and surf my Pokemon. And before we do that, let's go right ahead and use another... Let's go ahead and use another Super Repel, because uh, we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and find ourselves another Pokemon, or not another Pokemon, but get ourselves out here. As you can see, first time we're surfing around this whole area in this, in this game, and of course, a Tentacool is going to try and cat and try and find us. Alrighty, so here we are back at Rustboro City. A lot of uh, history right here and all that crud. So, anywho... Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to take our next side quest. We're going to be surfing around areas again, grabbing some much-needed items and all that stuff, and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>